Morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela and I'm the crazy poppy lady and happy Christmas everybody! Look, I know this Christmas is a bit of a fart. Yes, that's right, I said it, it's a bit of fart. Right, um, because of course with that dreaded ugh thing going round, we're not all able to have our Christmas how we would normally do it. But remember, there are still ways that we can play. We can still do the phone calls. We can do still do Skype chats and and other bits of craziness for each other. So remember that if you're on a bit of a bit of a down, remember you can pick yourself up just by firing your crazy best mate a crazy photo of something you've made. Yeah, that's right. I am in the process of making something for my crazy best mate. And she will get to see it and I will stick in a photo and her reaction um, just now. Right, so here we go. Here is the um, sound with the back that I was back in that I was telling you about a moment ago. Now, this is my best DM. I'm just going to call her M because that's the letter of her first name and it's easier because I'm too lazy to say her whole name. Hi, Em! Hi! Right, Em, Em, you know we can't actually have our drinky poos this year for Christmas and get paralytic. Yep. Right, and you know how you threatened to steal Froggy? Yeah. Well, he's mine, so pfft, off. You get him this Froggy instead. Oh, wow! He's a little <laughs> bit bigger. I've got a frog. Erin hasn't got anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. I love him. There he goes. It's alright, sorry. It's... Do you think if I kiss him he'll turn into Tom Hardy? Sorry. I don't know. We can, you can try it when you get your hands on him. It'll be in January hopefully once we're all out of lockdown. What I should explain is I had directly above my camera I had my tablet sitting there which was propping up against the microphone so it would pick him up um, and so that's why my eyes were flitting above um, above where I'd normally look was because I was being my it was because my eyes were being attracted to her bouncing all over the bed now and thankfully she wasn't jumping all over the, the bed she was just like super excited which is so lovely to see so remember you can do crazy stuff like that as well just spare the moment so as i said here's emmy's frog <laughs> here's my frog now em didn't actually get a good glimpse of it when i was showing you them originally um so i actually came off camera uh, came off of recording and showed them sitting on the desk up against the same thing to which she went, oh my gosh, he is humongous. Well, that's the uh, Angie translation because Emmy was not using appropriate language for YouTube. <laughs> I love you, Em. And remember, by not knocking on each other's doors this year, we are protecting each other and we will be able to see each other hopefully very soon into the new year. And when we do get to see each other, we will be able to give the biggest, fattest hugs. Right, now let's get on with today's show, because of course it is Christmas! <laughs> so, I have received a Christmas card. Um, and this one, I'm not going to show you the front, although it's got a really cool stamp, because I didn't cross out my address. And it's from Natalie at Natalie's Closet. I know this, because she's had to put the address on the front. Thank you ever so much, Natalie. I wasn't expecting a Christmas card, but you sneakily got my address, didn't you, when I won um, that competition and I got the a gorgeous yarn that's um, still hanging above my head. Just there. Yeah, let's move out of the way. The, those gorgeous hanks just there. And so thank you very much for being a sneaky sneak sneak and sending me my first ever channel Christmas card. Right, so uh, let's get this one open. Oh, that is so cute. It's all sparkly. Yep, it's all sparkly. It's on my thumb. There we go. Oh, am I going to be able to get this without reflecting at my other screen? Um, just give me a second. All right, let's try that now. Now, <laughs> look, you can see my other screen. Oh, bands. 
there we go and he's got a absolutely a gorgeous snowman and it's all all of this is glitter all of it i'm gonna wear some there we go hopefully i'm sparkling like ever this is what we used to do as kids get the christmas cards and rub them over your face and it'll take you a week and a half to get the glitter off right but anyway let's give this one a read it says dear angela i hope you find a few simple moments of beauty and calm to dream reflect and remember to feel the wonder wonder of christmas that's the card's words and uh, my words from natalie are wishing you and yours a very happy christmas and a happy happy new year thank you so much for your friendship and continued support and i truly appreciate it well i love watching you and i love annoying you as well <laughs> so share them that's love 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 hugs and stuff from natalie mum and miley so thank you ever so much darling um Liam says woof to Miley. Pip has threatened to jump on Miley and Liam's told her off. Um, but thank you ever so much. So I'm going to pop that up here hanging on my garland because this is what this is technically made for in my house. We hang our Christmas cards from it. And so there we go. That's my very first Christmas card. Right, excuse me a sec. I'm just going to grab a drink. Oh, that doesn't. I thought this might look like wine on camera. But it doesn't, it looks like we, oh well, there goes it, this, it's only lilt, a fizzy poppy drink in the UK, lilt, <laughs> right, but anyway, let's grab a bit of that, otherwise I'm going to get all squeaky, right, and then next up was, or is, right, so a little backstory on this one, I've been chatting to Corinne at our crazy ninja and i've been chatting for quite a while and we've sparked up a really good friendship so we were chatting um over messenger the other day and she could see i was distracted and she knows i don't like to normally hand out my address for freebies or or gifts because i like to trade off so if um you send me something i like to try and send you something back normally but i like to know in advance so i can work out what to send I'm not very good with surprises and not at all well anyway my Corinne had seen that I was slightly distracted because my husband had lost 50 quid in his office not the big office his office his home office downstairs so he had me sorting through his office while he was at the big office doing his day job I was cleaning up the other the office downstairs so she could see i was frantically clearing and i was frantically sorting and trying to find this 50 quid there was no 50 quid the git just did it so that i cleaned his office for him because it was a mess it's a git, it's a git. well anyway um she saw i was distracted and just slipped into the conversation oh what's your address to which i held up an envelope so that she could have a look rather than saying it and then realizing what i was saying because she's asked me for it a few times she uh, managed to sneak my address out of me it sounds really strange but when you get to know me off of camera you'll know how ditzy i really am and so to so a couple of days later she sends me a message and goes oops i've been bad i've sent you a little parcel i know how you feel about parcels so i promise it's only small and I'm like, okay, it best be because I'm really like, I'm really ha thankful that you sent it. I just hate surprises. <laughs> so she's there giggling away, absolutely giggling away. Well, this parcel finally arrived today. Uh, not today, sorry. It finally arrived on the 21st. It was due to arrive on the 19th, I'd say, but due to how busy the poor postmen are having to be they're working through now till nine o'clock in the morning they're starting at about half five in the morning and two shifts are running through and they're just doing deliveries and the only reason they're stopping at nine is because the law states that they're not allowed to knock on your door past i think it's meant to be half eight but of course because we're waiting for deliveries we're happy for that extra half an hour so shh they might be breaking some rules but we really don't care <laughs> so she sent me uh, this little box ain't nothing freaking little about it woman it's 
humongous. Oh, I can't show you the top because it's got her address, my address on it. And I can't show you the bottom because it's got her address on it. But what I can say is she's put some really cute puppy stickers on that I'm going to have to try and pick off and save. And then I'll be sticking it all around my computer. Right, so give me a moment. I'm just going to give her a call because I promised to let her watch me open it while I'm videoing. So fingers crossed this works. If it doesn't, you lot won't know anything about it. But her volume's going to be off. Otherwise, we'll end up having a conversation about something else other than whatever is in the box. <laughs> right, so here we go. Let's get this open. You've taped this up like my nan used to with 10 tonne of sellotape. That way. Skizzers. Sorry, she just said it's double layered. It's triple freaking layered. There's loads of it. She's used like the whole roll. <laughs> loads, right, lovely. Right, let's, yeah, let's pop that bit down there. Oh, I just got a glimpse of blue through the bottom of the box. Or was it the top of the box? It's the bottom of the box. Right, so let's get into this. You've packed this box so well, I can't get into it. The tape. There we go. Oh, squeak. My scissors weren't sharp enough to get under or to find a gap, and the last thing I want to do is stab the box and possibly stab the yarn. Ah, there we go. Oh, you sneaky sneak. She's covered it in tissue paper. I'm just wondering, is it attached? Oh, right. I'm trying not to look, actually. There's a card. Christmas card number two. So it says to, on the, on the front, it says to Angela, Mr. Crazy and family. Right, let's get in, let's get in. Let's be careful. Oh, you are sick and twisted, honey. Oh, reflect. There we go. A two A special couple. Okay, so hold on. Let me check. Am I allowed to read this out on camera? Give me a nod, honey. Come here. Am I allowed to read it out on camera? Yeah. Lucky I've got her here, isn't it? <laughs> right, so it says hello, Doug. How right? So he says, "Hello, darling. Now don't go mad at me. I selected a few few balls. You might like to try. Remember, it's a gift. You're a cow bag. You're a cow bag, but I love you." <laughs> right. So the main main section she's written is to my crazy mate Angela, Mr. Crazy, and family. Yes, and Liam and Pipsqueak. I'm wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Lots of love and stuff. Your crazy ninja, Corinne. And Shadow. Now, Shadow is her husky. Oh, my God. That puppy is so cute. Okay, it's not a puppy, but it'll forever be, he'll forever be a puppy. It's got the biggest eyes. Absolutely love huskies. Right, sorry, I'm going off topic. There <laughs> we go. Right, so let's pop Corinne's card up there as well right so i'm not too sure this is sort of eye level so trying to get in so i don't see it straight off is a bit of a pain but there we go okay so she's given me to start off with a little plaque which is a fairy ballerina and it's all cute and pink and stuff and fluffy tea i don't know if my tree's gonna handle it because it is but let's pop it up there I'll be moving that onto my main tree or onto something that's high enough so that Liam doesn't knock it off and run away and bury it because that's his thing. Okay, so to start off with, she's, I've noticed a few, she's popped me in some seed, cedar silky look double knitting yarn. There's one, two, four of those, I think. 
Oh, there they are there. That's really strange. I can't remember. <laughs> Corinne's just said she can't remember what she put in the box. <laughs> so this is a surprise for her, like me, which is brutal. All right, so I will have to come back to this one in a second because I need to bring it up on camera in front of me so I can read it all easily. But I'll pop them down there. So there's four of those. Sorry, my mind's already ticking over. And there is a Paintons 100% cotton, mercerized cotton, machine washable DK. And that's looking like it's in a teal. It's a really nice shade of blue. It's coming up quite nicely on the camera as well. Ooh. Mm, I see a top with that. Might end up being just a little bralette, but fluffy stuff that is really soft right um james c barrett i always say his name wrong and it's bubblish <laughs> thanks <laughs> i can't pronounce it right here we go bubblicious i have to say it quick it's a dk that is 285 meters of this one which is 390 yards wow 100 grams and i can see straight off two of those They'd make a really cool hat or something. Just trying to. I want to be nosy and I want to have a look at in a bit more detail so I can see it all. Okay. And then next up is a Home and Co Ombre Luxury 100 gram knitting yarn. Um, and this one, this one, this one is from B and M because I recognise the sticker. <laughs> I think it looks is that a B&M sticker honey that is isn't it okay so that is the colorway there now this is actually shades of green although it's coming up um blue on my camera it isn't it? it's actually really really nice shades of green it's quite a nice thickness to it as well I'm gonna have to kick my stuffies out of the way in a minute aha the old faithful pound shop cool I haven't had any of this for a little while actually. It's going to be cool. I can knock up a blanket quite nicely with those. I'm running out of room, Corinne. Okay. Uh oh, there's some chunky stuff in here in a minute. Oh no, we've got chunky now. We got. Okay, so next one out is there are two in this colourway and it is the James C or whatever his name is a mega multi again now i was just had to go off camera a second to have a quick chat to corinne we think this is a bulky five which if it is is absolutely brilliant because i won that pattern the other week um and it took calls for a bulky five and i don't have any in the house or at least i didn't i do now cheers honey i right so i've just brought you down to the uh, dining room table now because i've noticed that the light is a lot better down here than it is upstairs when it comes to looking at yarn so first one out of the box was of course the cedar silky look double knitting now i am cheating now i'm going to spin this label around and read it alongside you as the print's too small for me even with my glasses on so I've now got it on my little laptop by the side of me. Right, so this one is, come on, stay in focus. Okay. It's made in Wakefield in England by Cedar. There is a 50, it's a 50 gram ball. There is 147 yards approximately, or three, 135 meters. Okay, now the mix on this is 93% acrylic, 7% nylon. Oh, let's see if we can uh, find the washing cares. Right, so, oh, sorry. It says a warm wash, medium washing conditions at 40 degrees. It may be dry cleaned, do not um, iron and may be tumble dried. And they're saying a four millimeter crochet hook or a USF or a 
four millimetre knitting needle a US six. There we go. So there was four of these. Okay, next one out was this one. Now look at the shine. This um this is really quite true now. The colour on this is really true. So um as you can imagine that's why I was like, oh that's so pretty, it's a magpie in me, I think. <laughs> Right, so this one is the Payton's 100% cotton mercerized cotton machine washable DK. Now it's not the same sort of thickness as a DK um, acrylic yarn, it is thinner. Right, so the instructions are warm wash at 40 or a medium wash. Do not bleach iron, warm iron over a damp cloth and do not tumble dry. Your knitting needles are a size four. Okay, there is a hundred grams, and in that hundred grams, there is a 210 meters or 230 yards per hundred grams, and it is 100% cotton and made in Europe. Oh. There we go, pop that one next door so you can just see them just off camera. Right, the next one up was the green blue mix of the Home and Co collection. Now, this collection, as I said, you, we can get in the UK from a shop called B and M. Now, this is the Ombre Luxury 100 grams knitting yarn. There is its colourway there. Again, this is showing up blue, and it is actually more green. It is very similar green to this one here which is this bit here is that color but let's get on with the label right so this is a 72 percent acrylic 18 percent wool and 10 percent nylon total yarn length is 250 meters approximately I'll put on screen if I can work out how many yards that is. Right, it is a machine wash at 30 or hand wash at 30. But then in the stuff below, it says hand wash only. Make your mind up, label writers. Right, do not iron, do not tumble dry and dry on a flat surface. It is dry cleanable, do not bleach. So again, that's wash at 30, do not iron, do not tumble dry and the needles on this one are a five to six millimeter on the knitting needles so i'll probably guess that at a four or a five on the crochet hook let's pop that on there and i'm thinking this one was out next but i'm not a hundred percent sure we have got the poundland yarn now this is in the pound shop you can get three balls of this for two pound which works out at 150 grams because these are only 50 gram balls right so for this one it is 50 grams of 100 percent acrylic wash at 30 a medium wash um where are we your uh was it do not tumble dry do not iron you can dry clean it lay flat to dry it is a four millimeter on the knitting needles and four millimeter on your crochet hook and there we go so there is the color variations Let's turn it the other way and i can show you the inside as it alternates let's show you the inside as it alternates there we go see it's got quite um it's quite a short uh, color change because i've worked with this one before um so it really works with sort of the single uh single or double crochet blanket styles but the white that runs through the whole of the ball means that whatever you uh, when you make it up it looks like it's meant to be like that because it is because that's how you designed it right next one up 
is the sparkle glamorous yarn now this is showing up beautifully under the camera actually with all the sparkle now this again is a product that we get from b and m in the uk now with this ball this is actually absolutely brilliant although it's 2.99 there is a hundred and fifty grams says it there <laughs> says it there so there's 150 grams and i'll tell you what this stuff goes an absolute long way it goes for, for ages and ages i only just finished the ball that i bought two christmases ago and i've made poppies with it right so uh, let's get on with the information for this one right so this is 91 percent acrylic nine percent metallic yarn total yarn length is 375 meters approximately it's machine washable at 30 or hand wash at 30. do not iron do not bleach and do not tumble dry but you can dry clean it the hook size is a four millimeter and in the uk it's eight an eight uk okay uh, any more info there and this one is actually made in turkey i've noticed quite a lot of yarns come out of turkey actually okay so next one up i can't remember which way i pulled these out let's go from a fuzzy the next one out is i'm just gonna have to take the price tag off that one sorry darling put it there right um is the babalicious by james c barrett it is again a dk yarn um <laughs> it's quite hard to actually see it there we go i'm not 100 percent sure on what type of yarn this is apologies for the state of my nails but it's really really strange i've not come across it i'm thinking it might be a variation on a chain spun it's very fluffy as well right and so the information oh <laughs> get the fluff out of the way so we can see the information for this one is it is 205 meters 310 yards it's 100 percent polymide uh, it's a wash at 30 do not iron do not tumble dry do not bleach it may be dry cleaned and it is a, a four millimeter or a us six i don't know why they've put the number six on there right anyway it is a hundred grams and it's made in license in turkey so that's another one come out from turkey turkey are very very busy <laughs> let's put that one there right and then we have the james c barrett mega multi and look at the coloring on this one this has come out really true actually it's mad mad in not as in nice <laughs> it's like a tweed effect i suppose with multiple colors and as you can see it is a, a nice nice chunky yarn right so the details for this one are it is 52 meters or 56 yards it's 100 percent premium acrylic wash at 30 cool iron cool tumble dry do not bleach you may dry clean it it is a 10 millimeter or a us 15 on the knitting needles right and then the second from last one is the james c berrett mega multi I hope that's not ripped that's just the sticker that i've just taken off right so it is a 52 meters 56 yards 100 percent premium acrylic cool wash cool iron cool tumble dry do not bleach may dry clean and it's again a 10 mil millimeter us 15 on the knitting needles and no information again on hook size but we can adjust can't we and it is 100 grams and it's made in license in turkey oh and there's also a website there never know might be worth a look see if we can um, see what else they've got on the website 
but there is the colour in there and yes that is really quite shy another really nice shiny yarn so that should slide quite nicely off and on and off the hook let's put that one over here and the I'm sorry to say but once this one's come out this is my favorite I'm really really hoping that the colors show up on this one this is the illusion by Hayfields it's double knitting right and the last one out is the illusion now this is from Hayfields and it's a double knitting now the colors on this are absolutely gorgeous this is not blues this is actually purples and lilacs and they are really really bright and um oh come on I just think of the right word they really really pop um they're absolutely gorgeous gorgeous shades throughout I can't wait to work with this one it looks absolutely gorgeous but the problem is it's not showing up on camera right imagine this blue but in dark shades of purple and you'll have it it's absolutely gorgeous right anyway right so the information for this one is it's 100 grams there's 285 meters or 312 yards approximately it's 100 percent acrylic and it's made for hayfields under the license in turkey okay so let's scoot round it is machine washable wool cycle cool tumble dry lay flat to dry dry press and never wet press maybe dry cleaned and there's the address again for the company itself it is a us8 or a four millimeter a uk8 or a four millimeter or a us6 on the knitting needles and a four millimeter uk8 or usa f5 on the crochet hook there we go that is the illusion i absolutely adore this one yeah, that's all of the um, different types of yarn that she has sent me. She is really, really, really cheeky, but I'm really appreciative of it. Thank you ever so much, darling. Right, so these are all of the yarns that were sent to me. Thank you ever so much, darling. They are absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to work with them got a couple of ideas floating around in that brain of mine but we'll have to see what comes of them thank you thank you thank you and i will see you later right so that is it for christmas uh, this christmas episode have an absolutely a lovely friday the 25th whether you're having christmas then or later on in the year with your family like we will be doing me and liam 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 look that way what's that what's that what's that there we go. Me and Liam would love to wish you all a really, really happy Christmas and we will see you all very, very soon. So please stay in if you can and definitely stay safe. Say bye. Do say bye? He's like, no, I'm going to sleep. Oh God, he weighs a ton. <laughs> this is not working, Liam. Sing. right so that is it for me for this um for christmas um i will probably be back, blah, blah, 